So uh, I want to say uh, a very good morning to each and everyone that has tuned into our Friday wake up and win call. Just like uh, how you hear the name is wake up and win, not wake up and lose. The moment you wake up, you wake up before the sun, then you have chances of you winning the day. But if you wake up when the sun is already ahead of you, you'll be fighting to catch up with the day. That's why we chose to be part of the champions of the day by choosing to wake up before the sun because all the successful people in the world we have interviewed and had a chance to, to be with, these people, they have, um, they, they have a habit of waking up uh, early in the morning before the sun is up. So I'm proud of everyone that has been moving with us, building this as a habit. And I see, it's, uh, let me assume it's having a positive impact in a, in your life in one way or the other. Uh, my name is Coach Mustafa. Those who are tuning in for the first time, this is our wake up, uh, uh, wake up and win. It falls under what you call the IDF Academy. And the IDF Academy is designed to make sure we impact people with knowledge, with skills, um, with the understanding they need uh, to, uh, to keep pace with uh, with uh, global business trends, with technology that can position them as wealthy digital entrepreneurs. So beyond the skills training, we also give you a very, very powerful opportunity, which we represent for the past two years as a company here in the south and the east side of Africa, which is Omega Pro, that is blessing uh, uh, hundreds and thousands of families already. We are on the mission of help of growing a thousand millionaires. It's gonna take uh, discipline, it's gonna take uh, character, it's gonna take a uh, different level of mindset, uh, it's gonna take strategies, it's gonna take, uh, of course, definitely skills. So that's why the Wake Up and Win is designed specifically for that, to give you the skills, to give you the knowledge, to give you the understanding of how to make things happen as far as uh, uh, where you are and where you want to go. So we are, we, 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 we are, we are your support team. Uh, to help you achieve your dream, call us that. So hope everybody is health and sound. Hope God uh, kept you well throughout the night. You have woken up because uh, you know one of our one of our brother uh, yes, yesterday. Uh, by the time uh, uh, by the time it was morning, it was terrible on his side because uh, thieves came and attacked him here in Uganda. So and uh, it, it, uh, they injured him, uh, but with thank God is is okay. So it's very important. I say that everybody is okay because we don't know what happens in um, in the in the dark hour. Hmm? They, we call uh, we call the the three the nights hmm? when um, when it becomes midday. Hmm? They say even uh, even uh, the demons will will raise from the from their graveyard to come and attack. <laughs> so during uh during the night the evil awakens you understand and you don't know um the evil that well, whom it will uh hold custody um so it's very important we really thank god that you can see the day because during the night many people they don't get the opportunity to see them the next morning why because evil gets them custody maybe thieves come they disorganize you. Uh, uh, you. You wake up when you're in the hospital because of the injuries. Other people even don't have the chance to wake up because they lose their life during the during the night. So who are we to have the opportunity to wake up to see the day when you are healthy, when you are breathing, when you have nothing uh, that uh, that is paining? Let me assume that everybody is okay. So we give the glory to God. It's not by by um, by our understanding, by our knowledge. It's by the protection of the being that is above all of us, which is the supreme, the God, the God of the universe, the one that um, has shielded us from uh, the attacks and uh, the traps of the enemy. So uh, as I begin this day, uh, I glorify him and uh, I summon him to be amid this, this discussion so that he can minister to our speech so that uh, we get different revelations because in this, uh, in this world we are in, uh, the token we use to, uh, to to transact is knowledge, is wisdom. It's the token that uh, is available to us. And every moment of time, uh, I believe, should be invested in um, in uh, accumulating knowledge, uh, knowledge and understanding. Uh, more especially, understanding uh, 
uh, which is mysterious between you and your creator. So as IREV, we are a, we are a team that uh, really is not just about helping you achieve money. We are here to build uh, if, uh, to build you all alone. We want you to have it all. Spiritually, we want you to have it all. Financially, we want you to have it all. Health, we want you to have it all. Emotionally, physically, we want you to have it all. Mentally, we want you to have it all. So at the end of the day, we want you to have everything they said you couldn't have. I wanted to prove those for wrong because you are part of IREV. So we are building an IREV is a person who has it all in all different areas of life. That's the person we are doing. So in our training, you see us quoting different scriptures here and there. You see us going at different angles. Please don't be intimidated or, uh, or feel, feel small. That's our way. That's our culture because we have a, a bigger calling beyond just making, making money, but to impact uh, to impact this generation and to build a largest team across Africa of uh, IREVs, people who are winning in all areas, uh, in areas of, of life. Our goal is to build the largest. I'm talking about 1 million members and it's coming to pass by 2030. So watch out and I'm proud of you guys. You are, joy, you, are, you are choosing to listen in, to join us. It's a big mission. It's a big vision we have, but we can only do that by first lifting you, by first helping you, by first helping you achieve what you want. And then uh, you also join us in this, in, this, in, this, in this mission. Yes, we are here at your service. So if you're at home, uh, hope those who are just tuning in for the first time, you get a little bit of the intro of what IREV is all about and why we are different from any other team you can, you can find there. So we have a goal, we have a mission, uh, we have a vision, and we are serving that vision every single day. We are not a team of purely whatever we say, we I will live by we live by it by the grace of God. So I want you to I want to welcome each and everyone. I want to say officially, good morning, champions. <laughs> now, once you are part of Iron Partners, you are already a champion. You see that you see that happening in your life. So good morning, champion. You can say good morning back to me if you can unmute yourself. Good you morning, coach. Good morning, champions. Good morning, Salah. Good morning, coach. Good morning, coach. Thank you. Good, good morning, coach. Good morning, coach. Good morning, coach. I morning, all coach. of you are healthy. Wow. Good morning. Good morning, good morning coach. Good morning, coach. Good morning, coach. Good morning, coach. Wow. 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 Wow, pop, pop. Yes. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you guys for uh, saying good morning to me. Uh, uh, it means it means it means a lot. You know, sometimes we make it up as an open discussion as as possible. So ladies and gentlemen, we right now we embarked on a very powerful journey to to discover uh, the instance or the technology that builds great team. Because remember, we want to do the biggest team across Africa. So having that in mind, to have the biggest team across Africa, a biggest team of people who have made money through internet business, you understand? Hmm? That are winning in all areas. They are giving back, they're led with love, with integrity, and all that kind of stuff. Those who know our vision, you know it very, very well. So for us to be able to build a team, team in all these other countries, more than 20 countries, we need to understand the technology that uh, keeps the team together and makes team win. You understand? So we embarked on the journey to to um, to uh, to de uh, decipher all uh, all uh, to uh, decrypt uh, this this kind of uh, substance that has been present in all great teams all over the world. Our team not to be the first one. There have been great teams that have conquered territories, and we want to know what are their secrets because if you're gonna Join Omega Pro. It's one thing to put money; it's gonna triple, but you don't become much. You put a thousand, you make a fifth hundred dollars in sixteen months. What's that? You put ten thousand, you make a thousand dollars in sixteen months. What's that? You understand? That is small money. 
there is a reason why Omega Pro put a lot of money in team building. Tomiwa is making what is making fifty thousand dollars per week, not from investment, but from team building, because the secret has always been team building, and the earlier you fall in love uh, with team building, the better. The reason why people want to build a team because they don't know what it takes to build a team. They don't know what what it takes to retain a team, motivate a team, and uh, and work with other people. So now what John Maxwell, our mentor in this city, what he's trying to do is to give us access to this, uh, to this, uh, to this technology. So at first, he gave us one of the first code, one of the first principle that is governing successful teams is the law of significance. Those who remember the law of significance is, uh, it says one is, uh, is, is a small number to achieve greatness. That's for you to achieve greatness in life. If you have anything you call a big dream, you want to impact generations, you understand? There's no way you are going to reach that level if you are working alone, you understand? Nobody has achieved anything uh, worthwhile, anything big in life without working with people, you understand? Be a president of the country who has a team around, uh, around him. Be McDonald's who have a team around them. Call whatever, something that is successful. They're living a life of significance because you cannot be live a life of significance or having that kind of impact without people involved. Even you being where you are, your education was a team of people who paid your school fees. You understand? It was a team of people uh, you are you all your success too. You understand? Hmm? So it's very, very, very important. You know, we understand that it all begins there. The reason why people don't want to build teams because they believe for them, they don't need nobody. For them, they believe they can achieve anything in the world when they are working alone, which is delusional, which is daydreaming. In this world, it's all about team, you understand? Aligning yourself with a very good team is very, very, very key. So that's where, where, it's, where it started. So, so having that in mind, it will position you to build a very powerful team. Then we looked at the law of the niche. The law of the niche was a blessing to us. They say that we may not pray every uh, in the same law. You understand? When the team building is very important to recognize that every team member has a law to pray. And people, they, are, they can be of value to the team if they are serving the law that they are good at. If you press uh, a, a long person in the light role, it will be a mess. But if you get the light person and put them in the light role, they will serve it with passion. You understand? So everybody is equally important. You understand? So we serve the law. We were able to serve specific role because like in network marketing, you understand? Like for me personally, I wake up, like in wake up and win. What are I serving to make sure that this is a, that, that this wake up and win is a success? For me personally, as the team leader, I wake up, I make sure exactly like uh, 30 minutes before the call, this room is always open. By 5.30, it's always open. You cannot tune in at six and find a Zoom is not on. I'm always here. Why? Because it's not about me. It's about the team. No matter what time I've slept, I wake up. Other people, uh, like you're like like Julius, they come in and try to remind uh, to remind people, and they do in uh, they do intro and they walk uh, along. People is always my co-host, Julius. By thy brother, I said let's, let's pass it a better. Julius for the good worker is you no know, normally doing for wake up and win. He's always uh, one of the first people to tune in and uh, he always do us a good work to, to engage as I prepare what to present. He's always keeping the room busy with uh, some engagement, with some, um, some, uh, some powerful sh uh, sharing and awakening people. So Julius, brother, I celebrate you. Uh, more importantly, other people, they may not be like Julius, but behind the scene, they are busy calling people. You understand? You need to come, wake up, wake up. You understand? Hmm? Other champions, you know yourself, you are always working uh, behind the scene to make sure that the Zoom has 15 people, has 20 people, has 30 people. You understand? Everybody has a law they are praying. You understand? And many people, every time they tune in, they feel like, you know what? We cannot tune in without sharing the value back. To make sure the Zoom is successful, they make sure they raise up their hand, they take good notes for the purpose of sharing value back. So you see, even wake up and when there are different laws, uh, everybody is praying. It's a, it's a different law. Everybody is bringing everybody. It has a niche. You understand? We can interchange them, but it's not about Mustafa. 
if I was going to be now calling people, muting, uh, muting, muting people, like now I'm stalking right now, people, they are coming in, but you just don't admitting them. So you may be here, you don't know who's admitting you, but it's not me, but I'm just doing the talking. So it's all about the, uh, the, 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 the teamwork and uh, really having, uh, you know, everybody playing a different role. So in every team you are, you are in, you understand? Make sure that there is a law you assign. Don't be a passive participant, a passive member in the team. You, we are going to discover that people who are passive, people are not playing a role, uh, what to do with them as far as the team building principles are concerned. These are laws. Let me tell you, when we talk about issues of laws, they are beyond your debate. <laughs> Let me first talk about that. You know, no, I'm not talking about techniques and methods of building a successful team. I'm talking about laws and principles, meaning these are things that are proven and tested uh, and they are timeless. You understand? Either you work along with them or they work against you. You understand? They are not non negotiable. If you're going to be have a successful team, you better be careful and take note of these, these laws. So, the law of significance, you understand? You recognize it takes a team to achieve anything big in life. You understand? And I live members, we are big dreamers. We are big dreamers. You understand? So, we are big dreamers. If you're not yet a big dreamer, we shall help you to become a big dreamer. Don't worry. Now, more important, the law of the niche. Now, yesterday, we looked at the law of, uh, of the big picture. You understand? It's a law, it's not a method that uses it as a trick. Meaning, in every team, there must be uh, a big picture whereby everybody is working towards a team goal. What's the team goal of IDEM? Our goal is to build, if you look at, at individual level, we want to build a person that is successful in all areas of life. You understand? Not only financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, you are successful when you show up, they open doors for you. And not only you, we're gonna turn you to turn and uh, people like that into an army, or, which is very big across Africa. We are targeting one million member by 2030. You understand? By very soon, one place, a thousand millionaires. One million members, but a thousand millionaires at the same time. So that's our goal. But for us to achieve that goal, it will take teamwork. It will take us to be organized. It will take contribution to different, different people. So when we talk about law, law, law of big picture, we put the team goal. Uh, above your individual goal. Some people, they have their individual agenda whereby they, they don't want to serve nobody. You understand? They don't want to serve nobody. It's all about them. It's all about achieving. As long as for me, I'm investing. I'm getting my money. But I, who, let me tell you. The thing, the th you know, we have, or we, 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 have uh, we have offices for IR partners in different parts of Africa. But the way we are maintaining them is contribution of different team members across in, in IDF. <laughs> together. Now, for you, you may be so sorry if you just come to use the office, but you don't know even how bills are paid. But even if you are not saying that you give finances, but at least find a law to pray for the purpose of uh, this gym. Uh, because if IDF stays, if the operation stays, you will be having a premises for you to achieve your individual goal. Be just investing. Because if that's your goal, you understand? Hmm? So, we put a lot of the big picture. We put our individual goals below the team goals. You understand? Because the team goals encompasses all, 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 all the, the, the team member goals. You understand? So when we show up, even if it's an event, don't make it about yourself. Don't make it about yourself because you want to appear to be the number one presenter and you, you spend a lot wasting people's time. And you are setting yourself instead and you lose sight of the bigger picture. That's not about you. It's about doing a presentation that will serve everybody on the team. You understand? Mm -hmm. When you are serving whatever department, don't make it about you. Mm -hmm. Great leaders are servant leadership, leaders, servant leader, leaders. They focus on a bigger picture. They pull selfish interest aside and say, okay, let us win as a team. Then I will always come back to pick my individual goals and focus on becoming better and better. Then we looked at another law, which is called the law of Mount Everest. You understand? The law of what? Mount Everest. It was so, 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 so powerful. You understand? It will take a dream team, a dream team for you to conquer a big dream. The reason why people, they have not achieved their dream, they have been buried with their dreams, is the secret is one. They never got a chance to build a, a good team around them, which you call a dream team. You understand? 
Because if Mount Everest is the biggest dream you have in your life, for you to conquer that mountain of a dream, it will take like people around you, the power of association, whom are you associating with? You understand? Associate with the people who are adding value to you and the direction of your dream. Like what? Maybe the best mastermind team you can look about is the IDF team because everything we do is aligned and connected to make sure that you are positioned to win in whatever your dream may be. Understand? So it takes a dream team. So for me, that's why I'm wondering, people don't come to wake up and win. I'm wondering the size of, of, the, of their dream. Somebody, some people, they know, they ever come here, but they have never seen any value of wake up and win because they think it's about them. It's like I have in East Africa, and we have more than 200 members. But the question is, where are they other people? The answer is in this discussion. Understand? Hmm? Yes, because if you have a small dream, you don't need a team. If you have a small dream, you don't need a team. It takes people with a dream. You know, and you know Mount Everest is the, is the biggest mountain in the world. People who have, who have a big dream to humble themselves, to belong to the team and serve a lot in the team. Are with me? So today, ladies and gentlemen, we want to embark on another law, law number five, which is the law of the chain. You know, I want, I want you guys to be active learner. That's why I normally tell you that, you know what? Get your pen and, uh, and uh, get your pen and uh, notebook. For me, I'm always having mine here. I'm always taking notes. And uh, the IDF champion, they always know. They're always taking notes. Because, like you see, because of the way I lead and take notes, when I come here, I just show up and I start talking these roles. They're just coming from my, my, my subconscious mind. They have entered. I understand. I can literally go and give training on this what on these laws. I can explain them from different angles. It's not just cram work. Because we want these services we are starting to change us so we can become better leaders. Are you with me? If you're ready for law number five, say I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. I am ready. Yes, we are ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, champions. So get get uh get lady with not under the blanket, but when get lady with your notebook or your wake up and win uh journal and the pen and capture as much notes as possible so that by end of this call you'll be given an opportunity to share the back of this one or two value you have captured. We're gonna cover two laws and uh enjoy enjoy enjoy, enjoy this. We are ready. Okay. Today, I want to talk to you about law number five of teamwork. This is called the law of the chain. And the law of the chain says, the strength of the team is impacted by its weakest link. Now, of all the laws I'm gonna teach, of the 17, this law is the most difficult for people to accept. This is going to drain you a little bit emotionally, okay? And I'm just setting you up for this because when you begin to talk about looking at your team, evaluating your team, and then you begin to kind of hone in on who is the weakest link. Kind of reminds you of a TV show, doesn't it, huh? <laughs> I, I, I thought about for this law having that lady come, you know what I mean? And I thought, no, she is disgusting. <laughs> There's not a leadership bone in her body. She has the gift of separation. And so we won't bring her here. But when you talk about the weakest link, this, 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 this is a tough law emotionally to accept. And I'll, I'll say this, this is a tough law for me to handle. And, and let me tell you why. I only have one goal in life. And it's kind of very simple goals. When people ask me what I do sometimes. It's kind of hard to explain because, you know, you know you, you, I mean, what do you do when you, you know, when, when I just went to England, I had to you know, you get on the, you write all this information down and, and for the customs people. And, you know, what do I tell them I do? I, I could tell them I speak, but they look at you and they say, well, I speak too, you know. <laughs> you, know you can say, I write, and they say, well, I write too, you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of a little bit hard. 
And somebody asked me the other day, they said, well, what are you doing? I, I keep thinking, okay, what do I do? And, and then I, 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 I said, I think what I do is I add value to people. That's what I do. I take people wherever they are, uh, and, and I do my best to come alongside of them, train, equip, teach them, simplify the lessons very easy, and lift them to a higher level. I want to add value to people. Now, you take a person like myself that their goal is to add value to people, and you start talking about this law, the law of the weakest link. This is a very difficult law for me because I want everybody to succeed. Not only do I want everybody to succeed, I want to take everybody on the journey with me. In fact, this is a huge uh, weakness in my life. And let me, just, let me just take a moment and explain this to you because what happens is I'm always going somewhere. I'm leading something. So it, my tendency is when I'm leading something is I want to gather everybody around me. You follow me? And, and so I want to take it. What's your name? Maggie. Okay, I, I want to say, okay, Maggie, I want you to, you know, I want you to get on the team. And I met Gene earlier. Gene, I want you to get on the team. Okay, so what I, my, my tendency is to get them all on the boat. You follow me? Get them all on the train, and then I take off with them. Now, every once in a while, you have to stop the train for a little rest break or whatever. Now, now what happens is when I stop on my journey, sometimes Maggie or Jim, J Gene, they get off. You follow what I'm saying? And they get off, and, you know, and they decide to have a picnic there, and, then, and finally I say, well, it's time to get on the train, and they don't want to get on the train. Now, here's where my weakness is. Way too much of my life, I try to convince Gene and Maggie to get back on the train. Now, why? Because I want everybody to take the journey with me. I, I mean, I happen to think that where I'm going is a wonderful place. And I, I also happen to think that everybody wants to pay the price to get there. And everybody wants to take the trip. And, and my wife, Margaret, has been huge in this area. She's really, I mean, I, this has been a lifelong challenge for me. Because she says, John... Quit trying to put everybody on the train. <laughs> Quit trying to take everybody on the journey with you. And I think, but oh, Margaret, if, if they had any idea where we were going and what we were accomplishing and what we were doing, they'd want to get on the train. And she says, no, John, not everybody wants to take the trip. Now, the law of the weakest link basically says on any team, there's somebody that probably doesn't want to take the trip. I can still remember when this law vividly hit me, it would be back in, in the late 1970s, and, and I was getting ready to make a, a, a job transition. And I had a marvelous assistant that just was very helpful to me. And uh, so when I was going to move geographically to another state, because the two of us had such a great relationship, I said, you know, I called her by name. I said, Dee, you're going to want to come with me. And, and she said, yeah, we, I think we do. And so her and her husband went to the city, looked for houses. And, and, and basically, I felt probably we were going to come with me. And I'll never forget calling from the Chicago O'Hare Airport back to Ohio, where uh, at that time we lived, getting ready to move to Indiana, calling Dee and, and, and telling her I just had been to the place where we were going. And I was all excited. I was telling her. And it was, she was very quiet. And all of a sudden, I thought, there's something wrong. And I never will forget that she, on the other end, said, John, she said, we've decided we're not going to take that journey. And I remember how crushed I was. I thought, oh, my goodness, I want to take her on this trip. I, I, want, him to, I want him to kind of go to the top with me. Now, let me say three things about the journey. Number one, not everyone will take the journey with you. That's just a fact. In fact, in the little blank beside that, put the word choice. People choose different trips. Number two, not everyone should take the journey with you. And, and beside that, put ability. Some people have abilities that really, or giftedness that really just doesn't allow them to take that trip. Thirdly, not everyone can take the trip with you and put potential there. Now, what I want you to know about the journey, what I want you to know about this, this law of the chain is that as you take the team, as you go for the top, as you go for the gold, when you take the team on this trip, I promise you there will be a person that will lag behind. And I want to give you some characteristics of, of, of for lack of a better word, this weaker team member. Now, let me, let me just say something before I talk about characteristics of a weaker team member, because this kind of bothers me a little bit. I'm not talking about the fact that the person is wrong, 
And, 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 and in an area, another area, they may be very strong. But what I'm saying is on your team, you're going to have maybe more than one weak link. You're going to have a couple people that are just not probably carrying their weight. Does that make sense? Let me give you characteristics of this person that is what I call the weak link in the chain. This person is unable to keep pace with the other team members. In other words, they just have a hard time keeping up. In fact, when I was working this law, uh, you know, several months ago before the book was out and before the training of the kid, I, I almost called this law the law of the turtle. Because they were just, I wanted to talk about a person who couldn't keep pace with the rest of them, but then I thought, now nah, that, that the, the weak link is a much better description of what I'm trying to describe. But they're unable to keep pace with the other team members. Secondly, they're unable to grow in their area of responsibility. In other words, when you place them in their area of responsibility, there's probably not much growth potential there. Number three, they're unable to see the big picture. Most of the time, a weak link team member doesn't see the big picture and constantly loses perspective. Number four, they're unable to fulfill the expectations given to them. There's a certain amount of expectations placed perhaps in that job or responsibility they have. They're just, they, they come up short. Now, notice the first four, we talk about unable. We talk about ability. The last two talk, I think, much more about attitude. They're unwilling to work on their personal weaknesses. In other words, they're unwilling to shore up the areas where they're, not, where they're perhaps not strong. And finally, they're unwilling to work with the other team members, which is almost always the ultimate issue of, of, of having to remove a weak link when it, somehow they don't gel with the rest of the team. Now, I, I'm going to come back and talk a little bit more about the weak link and, and what to do with that situation a little bit later in this law. But I have, to, I, have to, I have to find a way to graphically, for you and for the people that we're training in the teamwork laws, I have to graphically find a way to show you how the weak link hurts the team. And the best way to do it is, is, is in your notebook where I talk about, I illustrate the law of the change by numbers. And this is very simple. It's, it's right in front of you. Let me just walk you through it. Okay. Here you've got a team that you've brought together. And, and you have five team members. Let's say the first team, they're all strong members. That you have five tens. Ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. Okay. That equals 50. You have a ten average. But let's say on the team you have four tens and then you have one five, a weak link. Now look what happens immediately to the team. Ten plus ten plus ten plus ten plus five equal 45, which is a 9 average. Now, what's happened is you've reduced the team's effectiveness by 10%. In other words, the weak link has begun to drag the team. Instead of that person being the wind beneath your wings, they become the anchor on your boat. But let's talk about a team the way team really works. Because if you've really got a team and it's full of synergy and you've put it together and it's really, it's doing well, what happens is then a team multiplies, not adds. So let's multiply these team members for a moment. Let's say you have a great team. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 equals 100,000. But let's say you've got synergy on this team, but you have one weak link. Now watch what happens. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 5 equals 50,000. The weak link has reduced the team 50%. This is huge. Now, let me tell you what we do with the weak link, because I've done this all the time. I mean, I, I'm not talking to you from what I've read. I'm talking to you what I've done, okay? What I had a tendency to do is if I had a weak link, instead of removing them off the team, I thought I'll just give them another job. In other words, instead of removing them, I move them around. So what, let me show you what happens when you take that five and move them around. How are we doing, gang? Do you realize that five times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is the same as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times five? In other words, when it's all done, you still have the same result. Why? Because you have a weak link. And note in your, in, in your workbook, 
if they are truly a weak link, no matter where you place them, the result will be negative. And the teamwork thought I want you to have here on the weak link is the team cannot continually cover up its weaknesses. If you've heard me teach much on priorities, one of the things you hear me teach is, is a, a principle that I just truly believe in. It's called the Pareto Principle, which is sometimes known as the 2080 Principle. And, and to just reduce this for teaching purposes and illustration purposes, the Pareto Principle basically is this, that if you have um, 10 people and, and in your organization and, and you evaluate them and you, you size them up, that number one is truly the, the best player on the team, and number two is the second best player, all the way down to number 10 is the weak link. Okay, are we think now, now, the Preto, Preto basically says, if you take the top two people in your organization, not if you've got 10, but you just take the top two, the top two out of the 10 will give you 80% of everything you need in your organization. In other words, the top 20% will give you the 80% return that you want. That's, that's what we call the 2080 principle. That's what we call the Preto principle. I teach it in depth. Sometimes it's a two-hour lecture. Okay. What I'm teaching you here on the law of the weak link is the 2080 principle in reverse. Very simply, instead, what happens is, instead of giving the top 20% of the people in your organization 80% of your time and effort, guess what happens? We normally give the bottom 20% of the people on our team, 80% of our time, energy, and money. Isn't that true? I mean, watch it. I mean, you're just sitting there and you're, and, and, and who takes your time? The person that doesn't produce. Who has the questions? And, and, and what do we do? We spend all of our time. And by the way, let me just stop here now. This is huge. The difference between counseling your team and equipping your team is this. When you counsel your team, you work with the weaker members. When you equip your team, you work with the stronger members. If you counsel a team in their weakness, you'll never make your team strong. You've never counseled a team into strength. Because what do you do? You counsel a person according to their weakness. You equip a team strong. So what we need to do is spend 80% of our time with the top 20%, not 80% of our time with the bottom 20%, but sadly, because of the weak link and because the attention they need and the time they need and the resources they need and the money they need and the energy they sap up, we spend too much time on the weak links. We take, spend too much time on the weaker members. Let me illustrate. I, 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 I don't even think I've ever gone to a horse race, although I've always wanted to go to the Kentucky Derby. I've always wanted to go there. My wife's wanted to go there and wear the hat. Okay, anyway. I don't think I've ever been to a horse race, but, but and I don't know a lot about horse, horse racing, except the one across the line first wins. I know that. But, but let, let's say I went to a horse race, and I went up to the um, uh, a place where you can place a bet. I, and so I go up to the, the, the agent, and, and I say, okay, I'd like to place $20. Um, and, and let me ask you a question, sir. Um, do you have a horse that's never won a race? The guy says, well, yeah, I said, there's a couple in this race that have never won. I, well, I, I want to place $20 on a horse that's never won. And the guy's looking at me, and he's already thinking, he's going, what, what, what's wrong with this guy? What's, what's, what's he doing this for? And then I said, well, the reason I want to do this is, is I want to help their self-image. <laughs> now, why is it somebody at a racetrack would know I was stupid? But leaders working with teams all the time place their $20 on people that can't win. This is huge. It's the law of the weak link. And, and let's say, for example, on our team, and I'm the leader, there is a weak link. Let, let me give you some observations for your notes because this, this will really help you. Until the weak link situation is corrected, number one, the stronger members will identify the weaker one. They always do. I promise you, you go home to your team right now in the business. And if you could have a candid conversation and say, on the team, who's the weak link? Can I tell you something? All the people that are strong already know who the weak link is. In fact, leaders evaluate very quickly. Leaders walk into the room and in five minutes size up the situation. They already have figured who can, who can't, who should, who shouldn't. Who will, who won't. 
Leaders evaluate very quickly. So if you go home to your team, it's not like if you tell them who the weak link is, it's going to be a discovery for them. <laughs> you walk in and say, I just want you to know um, Charlie's the weak link on the team. The rest of your members aren't going to say, you're kidding. Never entered my mind that we're dragging Charlie. Never entered my mind. Observation number two, until the weak link situation is corrected, the stronger members will have to help the weaker one. In fact, let me put it this way. Well, let, law, or number three will do it better. The stronger members, until the weak link situation is corrected, will become less effective. Why will they become less effective? Very simple. Because they're having to help Charlie. Number four, and this will always happen, until the weak link situation is corrected, the stronger members will resent the weaker one. After a while, they'll resent this person because they realize they are not able to give their best all the time because they have to cover for somebody else. And number five, the stronger members, hang on now, will question the leader's discernment and courage. Wow. All the team members, listen to me, if you're a leader of a team, let me tell you something. If you aren't taking care of the weak link issue in your, on your team, I want to tell you something. The rest of the team members are looking at you, leader, and they're saying, when is my leader either going to discern this problem or when are they going to have courage to take care of it? In fact, let me say this. Your respect as a leader will be lessened if you don't deal with this situation. Number six, until the weak link situation is corrected, the weaker members will take more time than the stronger ones. That's just a fact. And until the weak link situation is corrected, the weaker members will want to hold on to their position. Oh boy, this now, now let, me, let me tell you a fact about the weak link. They tenaciously want to hold on to their position. You do understand that, don't you? You know, you take a stronger member of the team, I, I don't mean this wrong, stronger member of the team, they always have places to go. And I mean, you say, no longer can we use you. They're saying, that's all right, I had four other options. In fact, there's some things, I got a Mount Everest myself, I'd like to climb, and off they go. You don't ever, never, ne never worry about the strong ones. They always have options. Leaders always have options. But if a person is the weak link, they don't have options usually. And they are, they're the ones that hold on to tenure. They're the ones that hold on to title. They're the ones that hold on to position. They, they guard that sucker with their life. One more thought. Until the weak link situation is corrected, number eight, the weaker members will control the relationship. And let me just say one thing about relationships and we'll wrap this law up, but it's very simple. Here it is. The weaker person always controls the relationship. The stronger one always has to give in, always has to go the second mile, turn the other cheek. Isn't this true? It's true in marriage, it's true in business. The weaker person controls the relationship. So when you have a weak link situation, many times the rest of the team is being controlled by the weaker person, and therefore they're not effective. And, and the law of the chain question, a very simple one, am I helping the team or am I hurting the team? Uh, it's already time. Okay. It's really, really very, very, very powerful, guys. Hope you have gotten a lot of value from uh, from, from this law. Uh, it's exactly 7 a.m. I think our time is, uh, is already well spent because uh, most of you never kept time. So I think today shall do with just one law because this is really very, very key. And many people who are, uh, you have observed this, maybe you have been in this team or in previous teams, you know how weak links they can affect the team. And uh, John Maxwell has done a very good job to really explore, explore this, uh, uh, this law. So if you've gotten a value from this, please raise up your hand. It's time to share. It's time to share. Yes, so that I can give an opportunity for the number of people to come and contribute because uh, 
if you don't understand this law, it's going to affect, it's going to affect uh, uh, you as a team leader. It's going to affect you because just like what Awi has ended it, that the, 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 um, the weak members of the team, they always uh, control because they want to be given the best of time. They want to be massaged. They want to be given priority. Yeah, they're not given giving value to the list of the team members. You understand? So you find yourself, you're always in counseling sessions here and there because this will never grow up. This will never step up with their responsibility. They never take charge. It's not about, uh, it's always about them. You understand? They're always complaining, blaming. You understand? They're not uh, solution oriented. So, and this is, uh, this is really very, very, very serious. And until a leader deals with the, with the weak links, you understand? There is, there, there is no way you are going to unless younger members. So who are, who are the people who are ready to share? Who are, who are ready to share? Put your hand up if you're ready to share. If you're ready to share, please put your hand up. Thank you. If I had to share you. your hand up, those who have gotten value from the training. That's the body. Was it too much English? Champion, can everybody hear me? Yes. <laughs> it was so much English. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll be open, you know. It's interactive. Yeah. We, we are not here. I can I, I can repeat that. I can repeat uh, this uh, this this for you in uh, in African English. In African English. You know, exactly. You, you repeat for us in African English. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> better do, better do. <laughs> yes. English Coach. was too much. He better too do. Too much. <laughs> it was American. English too much. English too much. English. Yes. And the speed was a uh, uh, very no. high. Now, and some, very of, high. some of you are still under your bed. No, yeah. we are awake. <laughs> No, for you, you are, you, are, you are complaining. For us, French people. <laughs> so now, let's uh, let's get this. let's get this done. So now, this is this law is uh, very very profound uh, for those uh, who um, who um, who want the African version, the African English. So now, the strength of the team is impacted by its weakest link. You understand? Like the, the this is called the law of the chain. The weakest part of the chain, you know, the chain which they use in the bicycle to which move the bicycle, the chain. Hmm? The strength of that chain is going to be impacted by the weakest part of that chain. Because if uh, if that weakest part of that chain is there, the chain will not be in position to deliver the job it was designed to do. Now, if it's part of the team, uh, we all, we all, all team members, we make up the chain that is going to move Mount Everest, that's going to move the, the, the book tree, the bigger dream, that's going to conquer our, our bigger dreams. But now, remember, for you to achieve a dream, you need a dream team around you by the law of Mount Everest, which we saw yesterday. Are you with me? Now, if you look at the situation, whereby you have a weak person on the team, this person is going to affect the results you are going to have. You understand? It's going to affect the speed at which you are moving because it's going to be dragging you behind. You understand? And as a leader, you may be forced to because you feel like, you know what? The, the mistake we have as team leaders, uh, what, what you mentioned is that uh, we think that... Uh, uh, Everybody needs to go with us on the journey. We care so much about people. We love people. Like you find Coach Mustafa, you find some sometimes I'm put in a situation where I want to help. You understand? Hmm? You want to help. You know, this person has to come along with us. You understand? And you want to do everything in your, in your power just to keep up a, a person on the team. You understand? 
and you and by uh, uh, it's a long mind it's a long mindset because here we need to uh, we need to acknowledge that people always have different trips. You understand? To some people, online business is not a priority. To some people, changing and impacting people's life is not a goal. So even if I drag you, because personally, like me, Coach Mustafa, I'm convinced, you know what? Uh, Lily, I want to help people, I want to impact people. That's me, Coach Mustafa. You understand? I will not force me, uh, uh, I, I, I won't force this on you when for you, you hurt people, uh, maybe they did bad things uh, when you are growing up, you have your childhood traumas and all kind of stuff whereby you better prefer to be alone in your room. You understand? You're not a team player. You hate dealing with people because you know people are hypocrites. You have negative association when it comes to people. Yet here I come, I tell you, you know what? Let's work together and let's change the world. You understand? As we lift our families, we can lift also other people's families. And that's the goal of the party. So if I want to drag you into this, when for you, you have a different perspective, I'll point it hard. Even if you come in Omega Pro, the best you will do is just invest money. But this thing of being, uh, dealing with people, people, they are negative. You call them, they say, this is a scam, blah, blah, blah. People don't appreciate, they abuse you, they block you. I feel like, ah, come on, Mr. How do you do it? How do you, how do you pay this, this kind of people? For me personally, I don't deal with that kind of nonsense. I'd rather put my money, invest, and keep quiet because to that person, it's all about them. Hope it's making sense. So now, uh, people, it's very important to know that people will, all, will always choose different journey. They may be with business with you, but not be part of the dream team for the bigger, for the bigger dream that you want to achieve in the team. I would hmm? Now, more importantly, not everyone will take the uh, 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 not everybody should take the journey. Hmm? This is the ability. Some people don't have the ability. They may want, but they don't have the ability. It's not within them. They don't help you or whatever. They love team building, but don't have the ability to or the ability to connect with other people. You understand? Hmm? They are introverts. For example, they are intro. They are introverts. They are not people. People centered. You understand? Hmm? They, they don't hate them. Blah blah. But the thing of working with people, they rather do their things privately alone. That's where they they get they can get things done. But the thing of putting them in teamwork, they don't have the ability to work well with other people. Hope you understand. So maybe if you are a person like that on a team. You will tend to be the weakest thing. You may be expecting them to do this, but they don't have the ability to really a lot of prey. I would for them, they just want when they are they are the, they are the boss, when they are the, they are the CEO, when they're the director, they are they are everything. You understand? Whereby they have grown up where they don't take orders from anybody. They do what they want when they want to want. But those things of telling them, shut up, listen, and do as the team has decided. No, 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 no. It does not go well with them. The dust does not just click in their, in the, in the, in their DNA. You understand? For them, they just want to do their things at their own pace. You understand? They have their own peace. They don't do things at their. They want to work at their, in, with their, their own way, their own method. Other people's method don't work, don't work for them. So even if they show up for the meeting, they do not participate in nothing. I'm telling you. Now this. This speaks volume because I've been in team building for the past 10 years. At least I've tested these, these dimensions. And other people uh, um, cannot take the journey. They don't have the potential to take the journey. You understand? There's a difference between ability and, uh, and, and, and potential. So these are things we need to acknowledge. But the reason why we people who are building teams we allow weakest link to be part of us because some, 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 all of us, we have convinced ourselves that everyone should go with us. You understand? There is no way we shouldn't work with us. I think it's a lie we have told to ourselves. We need to respect that people, they have different journeys and it's okay to let them go. Like in item, we have worked with different people, but we have to let them go. You understand? Why? Because the journey became different. We respect them and say goodbye. They got value from us, but the journey became different. We have to say goodbye. Are you with me? Hmm? More importantly, 
Some of us leaders, we believe that everyone has the ability to be a team player. To work, to be part of the dream, uh, the, 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 the dream team. They have the ability to pray every Lord. It's wrong. It's a misconception. You should, it, should, it should trap you to allow weak, weak people on your team who are not supposed to be on the team. You understand? Hmm? So the thing is, not everyone can... Uh, sometimes we believe that uh, everybody hmm, has the potential to be part of the team, but not everyone has the potential. It's the truth. Because people have different priorities. People have different characters. People have different background. You understand? So if, if, you, if you are a team leader, you cannot avoid dealing with the weak links. Team members who don't carry out their own weight slow down the team. And they have to, 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 to they negatively affect uh, your team members. You understand? Now, if you go, how, how this affects the team members? Because it's, uh, you, you, you keeping a, a weak person on the team may think you are helping them. But if it is affecting the strong members you have on your, on, on your team, I'll go to, the, to, to that. The, the impact of, the, the, of, of the, weak, the weak person that you are dragging and you are forcing, actually you are just literally forcing them. You have to call them. You have to really beg them even to buy tickets for the event. They don't see any value in anything to do with teamwork. You understand? Hmm? So here, here is the thing. Here, here, here is the thing. How you are going to deal with them, you are either going to devote a system whereby you are going to train them to enable them to become a team prayer, to see the value into becoming team prayer. You understand? Hmm? But you, you, even if you go, you to try to do that, it will devote so much of your time and the time you could have given the 20% of the people who are on the team that are all the strong members that are producing 80% of the results. But you end up giving 80% of your time to the person who never even show up for the meeting, who never even contributes anything that can add value to the team. And the people who always show up, they have energy, they are self-motivated, they are in activity mode, you, don't, you give them less time. You understand? And by doing so, it's, uh, it's going to, uh, to bring dissentment in the team. It's going to bring complaint in the team. You understand? People are just seeing them as, uh, as, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as enemies. So until you deal with the weak link, hmm? uh, weak link, the strong members will identify the weak ones. You understand? Say, so you will be very proud. This person didn't do his part. This person didn't do his part. They're just putting fingers among themselves. And so it's possible as a leader to put this person where they belong. You understand? Either they sit down, that they become a just a dominant participant, but as far as the dream team, because we, we everybody can become a, a team member. Let me tell you, don't mistake this. Everybody can become part of, of uh, Omega Pro, but people who are moving things in uh, in either partner, we can count them on, on numbers. We can count them. Like everybody can be part of IDF, IDF partner. Yes, yes, I joined Omega Pro because I joined another this person part of IDF. But that's not, not, that does not make you an IDF partner, like a Leo active IDF partner. I'm talking about the active members. Those we can count them on numbers. We have a team of more than 200 people. But it, Leo IDFs, we can count them on numbers because these are the people who are sacrificing and making things happen and they are proactive and they are very effective in their, in their areas of, of law. You understand? For me, even uh, you guys, for you, for me, I joined before you, but ever since you joined, what have you done for the team? Nothing apart from minding your own business. Are you with me? Hmm? So it's very important to know until you deal with the, the weak, the weak members in the team, the strong members, uh, the, the, the weak members will be forced to help the weak ones, the strong members. You find everybody is fighting to get this person in the trip. Is fighting to have this person to their, their ticket. Is fighting to help this person how to make the phone call. Like you, like like somebody is it, it, it comes. It, you know, and when everybody is focusing on you to help you, you develop something a virus in your head. You in your head we call the spirit of entitlement. You think you are entitled for everybody to help you, but the question is, ever since you joined Iron whom have you helped? On the team. Now look, look at, at yourself. Ever since you joined Idea Partners, forget about Omega Pro. Ever since you joined Idea Partners, hmm? 
whom have you helped on the team? In the cross line and uh, on, on the down line, whom have you helped? You understand? And some of you, even you have never even got binary qualified for the past what for the past one year you have been in the business for the past six months. Maybe the problem is here. And even because you're not binary qualified, you are forcing everyone to feel guilty. You guys who are not helping me. Why are you not putting people under me? You guys who are making money around. I was the first one to join, even you're not putting people under me. This is what you call weaklings do. And a leader will be forced. Now, for the purpose of making this person happy, it puts people now under this person. That's the mistake we always do as leaders. Because the weak people, they will control, they try to manipulate you because they're not doing their part. The question is, you as a leader, who's putting people under you? Are you with me? If you put a person, it will be not by force. Don't let anybody drive to the corner. The weaklings, they have, a, they have the part to manipulate. I, I've been in this corner many times. Whereby people, they are blaming their failure on Coach Mustafa. And behind the scenes, they don't care how committed I am, what I'm doing, you understand? What I'm doing to help everybody win. But for them, it's about them. But this has never been about anybody. So if you don't deal with the, with the weakling, hmm, you'll be forced to help them or other members in that in the team, they will be forced, they will be manipulated into helping them. You understand? Hmm? They will say, okay, okay, call these people for me. They will never learn even to, to make phone calls on their behalf. You understand? Hmm? Uh, this, you come and present this person. If you don't go and present on, the, for, on their, their behalf, you become an enemy. That coach Mustafa, even if you call him, you can never go to the field with you. That Valeria, yeah. uh, they think they have made a lot of money. They think they are, they are, they are everything. Instead of dealing with, the, with their own uh, to, to strengthen their presentation skill, they want to make their lack of presentation is the cause of other people. You understand? So this is what we think. So the law of the chain, the strength of the team is going to be impacted by the weakest thing. As long as you have the weakest thing, they always, whatever you're trying to do in the spirit of oneness, in the spirit of us growing and uh, winning together, the weak weakling will always draw. There will be the source of negative energy. Because they always look for a problem instead, uh, instead of looking for a solution. Are you with me? So the strong members on, uh, on, on your team will become less effective. Why? Because you as a leader, you are spending time in the field presenting to the weak people on weak people's prospects. You understand? It's, but if you tell the weak person, bring the people in the event, they will never bring nobody in the event. Even they will not, they will, they will not come in the event. Actually, the weak person uh, will, will come for them, we say the event is at 2 p.m., it ends at 4 p.m. But for them, they invite their person at 6 p.m. They will come late in the event, they will not pray any Lord. But after doing this heavy presentation, they expect, you know what, Kalanao Coach Mustafa, I bought also another, another person. You come and present to him. You will not mind how hard you have been working on, st on stage. Even if not taking a glass of water. And then you'd rather to try to take you to another presentation of a person who never kept time. Because for him, he thinks, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Mustafa loves me so much. Hmm? If I say, you never say no. That's why leaders, if a team leader, learn to say no. You understand? You are decided, you know what? As a team, we are going to invite all our people together into an event. What makes you think that you are special for you to invite your people after the event and expect to all of us to do the presentation to your, to your special person? What I can tell you, that person will be too hard for the next event. I will not do that. Because after the event, I will need to partner with my strong members so that I can join their circles to talk to, the, to their person who have just come and I cross them, I help them, anybody I can help them, I come to their circle. You understand? Hmm? So what look leaders, now your people who are both there, they are looking for a leader who has been maybe presenting, they don't see him because another person has dragged him. And the members who have brought their people, the leader is not where to help them cross their people. And now this is going to make the team less effective. You understand? And even they question you as a leader. So you, you, you lose respect of, of, of the best team, of the best team members, hmm, when you don't deal properly with the, with the, weak, with the weak ones. Is, is it making sense, sense champion in, in, in African English? Yes, a lot of sense. 
Yes, I know. A lot of sense. You've simplified it so well. I will. So uh, now the thing is, uh, if you give an, an illustration, get your calculator right now. Hmm? You put, uh, you put, uh, you put. Uh, uh, let me let me do an exercise here. You put the, the strength, uh, uh, strengthening the chain. You put a uh, ten uh, plus ten plus ten plus ten plus five. Ten four times ten plus ten. These are five members. These are five members on the team. One is a ten. The four of them are ten. One is one is a five. How how much are you, are you, are you having there? What how much are you getting? Who's, has, who has, who's having a calculator? Okay. Le, 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 for the purpose. Forty five. Forty five. Forty five. Let me let me get the calculator and I share it here on the on the on the, on the screen. I've been forty five. Okay. So now, uh, okay. Now, can you see my computer here? Can you see my computer? Yes. So if you get yes. a person who is a 10 and, and add another person who is a 10, we, and add another person who is a 10. Uh, this this calculator is, is, a, is a fake one for iPhone. Let me let me get a uh, let me get an online calculator since I'm on the internet. Let me let me show you here. Okay, I think this one is a good one. You see. Once we get a 10 plus a, plus a 10, hmm? mm. plus 10, right? Can you see it? Mm. Plus 10. Those are four strong members. Yes. They are each 10, 10. They are committed. They know what they want. They believe in the team. You know, like uh, some of the ILF champions, you, you know yourself, what you're doing in your littleness. You give your, your best time for you, they don't have transport. They struggle to make sure that, uh, you know, they are giving, you feel, you feel them. It's a 10 10, they are committed, they are, they are switched on. You understand? They don't give excuse. Whatever it is, some of, the, some of them you don't have money to buy tickets, but they find a way. It's a 10 10. And then you get another person, you add them to that circle. And it, for him, is what? It's a five. Guess what, what you get? You get what? 45. You understand? Hmm? But let me tell you if, if we are going to straight to multiply their strength, hmm? Hmm? If we're gonna multiply their strength, look at this. Hmm? But if if this, this person we got was also a 10-10, 10, 10, 10 times that everybody, everybody was a 10-10, uh, we are gonna multiply their strength. Let me show you. Hmm? Uh, so meaning, let me get this. Let me go, let me remove this. Okay, how do you remove this? See this? Yeah. So now we get that, that uh, 10, we multiply by uh, by 10. Right, the strength. Hmm? These are this is a chain. Each is 10, 10, the strength of everyone. Hmm? And they are five what? Five mem five members, and each is 10, 10. Guess what the strength of the team will be? It will be what? Can you see my calculator? It will be what? A hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. I with me. But let me say the effect of one person who justify, we're just not giving a hundred percent, just giving fifty percent. Look at the effect. So let, let's remove the ten, the, the, the ten, one ten, and then we put what we put um we put uh we put what a five. So one is ten, another one is ten, another one is 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 ten, another one is ten, and the fifth person on the team is what is a five. Yes. Ah, we'll like, no, it's just a five. Let him keep around because you know, if if there are five members and each was giving a hundred percent, ten, 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 we could be having the strength of the team a hundred thousand. But because we have only one person that's just giving fifty, is in, is out. Guess what? The result which you're having. Our the strength of the team is is how much now? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Look at how much has affected the entire team. So we think you may not think that. Uh, the team is affecting you. 
the weak person is affected by it to affect the every stronger member. You understand? Hmm? But you may be like, ah, ah, maybe the problem is because we have put this fifth person, the last one. Let us try to, to, okay. make, to make this person that is the first one. We can help him. And instead of uh, abandoning him, let's focus him and help him by changing his position. You understand? Now we get this person. Instead of making him the last, because the reason why is five, because we are not giving him a priority. Let's, let's make him a priority if we can get a different result. So we make him the first one, five. If we ask the first person is giving five, the next person is 10. The next person is 10. The next person is, is 10. The next person is, is 10. What are, we, what are we getting? Is it the same results? Yeah, yes. same results. So no matter what, what, what position you change them, you understand? As long as they have not changed their attitude and their mindset, they will always yeah. affect everybody. Even if you put them in the center of attention, that's why they end up uh, uh, affecting everyone because they are so self-centered. I wouldn't. And sometimes you feel saying nothing, nothing because they will, they will get mad. They will get emotional. They will hate you. You understand? So are you as leader, instead of dealing with this one, putting them where they belong? You understand? Decide to be an investor. You are not a team player. Every time you want to withdraw your money, you come up told you how to, 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 to withdraw your money. You understand? But when you are ready to serve at the team level, you come and work together. Sometimes, if you cannot help them grow and you have to help them, give them 90 days. If you cannot turn into your team players, let them go. Don't they will not chase them in Omega Pro. Let them be whatever they can, but you cannot count on them. But a part of your dream team, hmm, the, the, the Leo leaders of Idapa, you cannot count on them. You cannot count on them. Because if you cannot count on them, they will always disappoint you. You expect them to come in the meeting, you don't come to the meeting. You expect them to come and invite 10 people, you don't invite nobody. You agree that, okay, let's meet uh, for this three days meeting, you will not show up. You agree, you know what? Let's uh, uh, have everybody on wake up and win. The reason why, just imagine if, if, uh, if we had, if we had like, uh, like, like the, the hundred members, if they're all strong on the team and everyone just show up on the wake up and win, how many people could be having the wake up and win? Because they're all members. We have them in, 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 in Omega Pro. We would be having a wake up and win for hundred people and they could share this kind of value. Are with me? Hmm? But because uh, we, we, we try to count on them, now it's affecting even the turn up. You see? Hmm? But if even if we are just 20, 20 members and each decide to invite 10, 10, we'll be having like a, like, how many? Like, like 200 people. 200 people in an event if everybody played their part. But the reason why they, our events, sometimes they have low turn up because there are some members who are members of the team, but they refuse to do their part. And when people, they make money, they get mad. They get mad. Sometimes when you fear sharing your back over your hand in uh, Monday morning, they will not celebrate you. They will resent. They will get mad. They get annoyed. They never celebrate anybody's success because it's only good news if they're the one making the good news. I'm telling you, I've dealt with them. But trust me, we continue to show our back office for the stronger members because we're not going to take the weak people on the, on the team to stop us from doing the right thing because it's not about them, it's not about me, it's about the, big, the bigger picture. That this business works and we have people who are making some serious income. Lie now, ladies and gentlemen, for the purpose of that, for the purpose of making the weak person on the team feel mad, let me give you some good news here. Can I give you some good news here? Can I give you yes. some? Yes. Now, yes. So it's very important <laughs> to let to let you know that uh, that right now, as we are speaking in I in IDF partner, after our strong work with with the power of strong members in the team, we have managed to produce one of um one of um. We have managed to produce one of uh, the first six figure Anna in IRF partners. Whereby, as I'm speaking, as of last Monday, I hit $100,000 in income. Did, some, did somebody in the week get mad? I hit 
we celebrate <laughs> you. I Congratulations. Thanks to the Anna. Because of the strong members we have, it has not been me. It has been us creating, creating these results. Yes, sir. Listen. I will. Hmm? I became Thank a, you, General. A six wow, 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 wow. Let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. Seven. I salute you. Thank you, General. Hmm? Let me tell you. Let, let wow, me tell you. wow, wow. Congratulations, Coach. Let me tell you something, something champion. It's very difficult Ooh, to move coming. from to, yeah. to, uh, to uh, 100,000 100, dollars. That's the most difficult journey of any networker. But from 100,000 dollars to a million dollars, it takes its time. It takes its time. But to start from zero to 100,000 dollars, it takes, it has taken me almost two, two years of building and building, dealing with strong members of the team. This one, they don't understand this one, this one, they quit this one, they, they have the fine mindset. But now from $100 to a million dollars, hmm, it's gonna be the easiest journey because I have a goal of having more than 100 people have this back office in the next one year. I'm telling you. So, so now, but, but the, the, weak, the weak people in the team, they will, they will really, they will, they, they, may, they will make you feel like, uh, uh, and if you show that, uh, you know, coach is making a lot, a lot of my, that money because we're the one putting the results, we're the one putting the volume. It was not us. You understand? Hmm? But you really, really, and you feel like, okay, maybe let me just keep quiet. You understand? Because if everybody is going to make their law to be more important, then you shall lose sense of the bigger picture and focus on individual goal. The goal is to make, to make, to make a thousand millionaires. And the journey is starting. The journey is starting. I will. So the six figure has been hit. So anyone who wants to kill themselves, let them go and kill themselves. But the stronger members, this is a motivation that if our own has achieved it, we are, we are not yet at the level of the Nigeria, but we are going there because we are dealing with this substance that makes things happen. I will. Yes, step by step, we step are getting step. there. We shall get there. So, ladies and gentlemen, it has been so, 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 so powerful to deal with those stronger members, no weak links in IRF partners. If, you can be part of, uh, of uh, our members in Omega Pro, but to be in IRF partners, to be in IRA partners, whereby you can count on, you can count on us, we, can, we need us to count on you. Hmm? So I have a question to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to everybody here. You understand? Hmm? Woo, woo. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, before I got that question, it talked about something uh, about the characteristics of weak, weak link, characteristics of the weak link from his perspective. I was giving my version from network marketing experience version. They can't keep pace with the other team members. So if you have anybody who is dragging behind in everything you plan, that's a weak link. They cannot keep pace with other team members. They don't grow in their area of responsibility. They don't, they will never grow in their area of responsibility. Are with me? Hmm? They don't care about the bigger picture. If like this thing that uh, we like, we live lives by lifting others, we feed the uh, one million children, we give back to the community. Don't think they don't hit, it hit them because it's about them. So they don't, they don't care about the bigger picture. Like we have a bigger picture here of empowering people with knowledge, with skills. So that even people, uh, some people are not just, they are, they, they are not big, some people are not being, big, being, they are willing to work, but they don't know how. Nobody has given them a chance to coach them, to mentor them. There's a difference between somebody who lacks coaching and mentorship. So we don't, don't compare that person with a weak link. But the person, even if there is coaching and mentorship, still will not, what is, will not do what he's supposed to do. Hope you get the difference. So the weak link, even if you put the best training program there is, it will never change them. I will. Actually, if, if, uh, if uh, you, go, you start the training as a coach, we came here to make money in Omega, but now we are disturbing us in those things of self theory. What are you talking about? I will be. <laughs> so, oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait. We need to be calling. 
But if they will never call anybody, they will never even get by now qualified. The people are complaining. If you show them how many people they can bring to the office for one, they can they don't know even how to make phone calls. They do things in their own style. No wonder they keep getting the same result over and over again. Because they don't work on their personal weakness. They are very arrogant. They think they know. Are you, are you, are you with me? Say you say hmm? they won't work with the rest of the team. A weak link will not work with the rest of the team. You plan this for him, you plan the opposite. You put an event on Saturday for him, you put his event on, on what? On, on Sunday. <laughs> because he feels like uh, when he brings his people, Lester will still, will still his prospect. Oh, Prosser will still, will still his prospect. You understand? Is there a vaccine? So for me, I'd rather meet my own. Oh, for me, would, like, like what they do, instead of bring, my people, they are of very good people. I cannot drag them to, to mix them with, with the Kachere and the Kayola <laughs> of people. Yeah? You understand? So coach for me, you shall organize for me a special time and come and meet my people privately. Can you imagine? Anyway, they, they cannot yes, fulfill the expectation for their area. You understand? Even if you give them any law, Ah, they will not. Actually, you are lucky. Even, even at last minute, they will apologize. They tell you, you know, coach, if you are lucky even if they apologize, because even they'll just go mute without saying nothing. You start an event, you are, you are going to do this department, they will never call, you will not do nothing. And yet you give them that law. Are with me? But they expect other people to serve them. So ladies and gentlemen, the question is, are you a weak link? Are you a strong member of either partners? Where do you belong? You cannot be both. You either choose one. Hmm? Because the law of the chain will either work for you or work against you. Hmm? And your respect as a team leader is going to be uh, determined how you deal with your weak members. You understand? Hmm? Because the weak members, they will always try to manipulate you and control the, 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 control the situation. Whereby, even if it's a Saturday, ah, how did you choose Saturday? How did you choose Saturday without consulting me? Because they think you need to choose a day that favors them. Even if other members agree. So if you're not steady enough, you may, change, you may change the day to Sunday. And even on Sunday, even if you change the, the Sunday, you'll never bring their own prospect for that event. No, will they contribute any part? Strong, weak members, weak, weak, weak links. You understand? Stop it. Stop it. I beg you. <laughs> now, are you, are you a weekly? Are you strong? A, a strong like, you, you're going to have an even agreement on Saturday, but the weekly, they have already started putting programs. You know, uh, coach, I could have come, but that day, I will be taking my cat to the hospital. My cat got diarrhea. I know this will laugh. <laughs> Where is that on my job? <laughs> Other people are, they are canceling wedding to attend, but for you, really? Can you take a look out to the hospital on Sunday and come and be team player for once? Really? So let's put your hands up and share what you've gotten from this because I was sharing in an African way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Put your hand up. Uh, let's say let's say you can begin. I therefore want to share. Be putting your hand up because we have we have uh, like ten minutes left in less in two minutes or less. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Coach. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi. Thank you so much for bringing it back in African English. <laughs> I love it that like, I love the way you want us to understand everything. Thank you so much, Coach. Me first, I choose to be a strong link because I've seen if I become a weak link, I will damage the entire team. Mm. So I choose to be a strong link. And I thank God. Like, at I least I've got knowledge about it. Because maybe 
I don't do something without knowing that it, 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 it affects the team. But I've seen being a what it brings to the team. And trust me, if I also make my, my, my team, I'll make sure, like I'll, I'll have knowledge on how to deal with weak links. Mm. So thank you very much, coach. You know, because of time, she said okay. we have just two minutes. Let me also leave for other people okay, to, thank to you, share. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sarah, go right ahead. Yes, good morning, champions. Good morning, coach. Good morning, see you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for reinterpreting for us in our local language. That is local English. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you so much. So actually, I've learned uh, several things about this session because a weak person really is just a disease in the group. Mm. He'll make everybody sick. He'll mm. want everyone to follow his steps. He'll mm. want everyone to act the way he acts, like to understand him, to believe what he's saying, to believe, you know, to keep everyone bent on his side, which is not right. And mm. this will make the entire team feeble, like a Jakule Maza team. So we have to know how to handle the weak people if they can't move on our pace mm. let's go forward because there's nothing to do with them no matter what because they're just wasting our time mm. i've learned that mm. and the weak people always they don't have a picture they don't know even what they want yes they want money but the fact is they don't know exactly even when someone is trying to show them the big picture Mm. Their eyes are like they are blinded. They see, but the fact is, they pretend in the back, in the back, in the scene, uh, the back of the scene. For them, they pretend as if they are doing what is right, but the fact mm. they are not doing it, because at the end of that day, it will come back to them, and by the result, it will just indicate they are doing nothing. Mm. And also, I learned that they will keep. They will keep you the the entire team rotating around because mm. of them. If we if we if we pay attention to them, mm -hmm. and another thing I've learned that they want always to. Sarah, where are you? I think she she went off. Okay, I think her network. He heard it. Sorry, sorry, I got I got someone was calling me, but uh, it's okay. Let me stop there for the interest of other people's time. Okay. I've learned about the weak people, so I choose to be strong. I choose to crawl if it means to crawl. I'll hold someone's leg there mm. until they push me to the end. Mm. Thank you so much, Coach. Have a blessed day. Okay. And thank you so much, members, for being strong. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Sarah, for coming in and sharing that value back to the team. Yes. Uh, Julius, you can go next. <clears throat> yes, yes. Coach, coach. Mm. By the way, I'm in Kampala for the event. Yay! Today, I'm at the office. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 powerful, powerful. Yeah. Yes. Welcome. Yeah, back. now mm. this law has re has reminded me how I used to ride the Kabeisko mm. and the mm. Kakutuka. And that kawik point breaks and you cannot go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for really putting it so clear. Yeah. It has it has really given me it. I've really understood it so so well. I'm mm. going to define the weak people in mm. this simple way. Yes, yes. These people, these people, are always present, but off guard. Mm. Mm. And uh, 
they tend to think like a university professor, mm. but they act more like more like more or less a blind man. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Whatever we would do, they are always they are always present, but of, they don't even understand anything. You mm. can even present to them, and at the end of the day, they say that how how much do I need to start with? Mm. And they always want too much care. Mm. They always want to be handled like babies. Mm? Mm. Wow. This is so powerful. And uh, they know themselves, but I'm not one of them. And I've always learned this from coach. You are always very strict. Even if you bring another guest, you say, but, but, uh, uh, no, let, let this person come tomorrow. But this has been so, so powerful. And I believe the rest of the members, they have gotten the point that I've seen. And uh, we are lucky that IREV is, going, is bringing out strong people. But we shall always give those people time, but they should also give us time to, to vote our team so they can understand whatever we're going to talk about. Mm. But we need them also because we were all weak. And we, but they should also give us time to grow with, to, to, to teach them so they can understand. There's always um, a tendency why many people fail in the industry of network marketing. They always join the business with a short with a short term mindset to make money quick quickly quickly, but this is not their business. This is a business that must be treated like other businesses because it also needs to 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 build it long term. You have to have a long term goal, and when you have a long term goal, the short term challenges don't stop you from reaching where you are going. It's like you are going to Kampala and you get a puncture along along Mubende. We just we just stay in many because because the has got a puncture. You always have to find how you you minis you you board. I remember one time I got a good stuck in the park, but I had to board, I didn't even have a spare. I had to stop every car that was that was passing to borrow me a spare so that I can we can always sort ourselves ahead. And eventually I won. So we are great thinkers, we are long-term visionary, we are visionary people, and we shall always get where we are going because we are mentored by the best. So the weak, the weak the weak part of the chain, you are in trouble. We are here to correct you, but you should also allow us to correct you so that you can work together. Thank you so much. I can give chance to others. Otherwise, I'm happy we we'll have the new members. I believe our culture, you should also feel free to share what you've learned from this because it's going to give us a lot of energy that you've got any value from this. There is Caesar, there is Christopher. Feel free to interact with what, what you've gotten from this point. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Tomorrow we must win. I'm available. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Back to you, coach. To the next person. Okay. Uh, uh, Karen, you are next. <clears throat> Thank you, coach. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning my neighbor. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> yes. Good morning, Good morning my neighbor, too. <laughs> First of all, I, I chose to be a strong link. I've seen that uh, in whichever position you put the, 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 the weak link, mm. that person will affect the entire team. I have learned that mm. you may twist the weak person here and there, you change the position, but all the same, that person will affect the entire team. I have learned that. Mm. And uh, I have uh, seen that these people, they are always, uh, they want to be, uh, to be cared for. And however much they are cared for, they don't change anything. But whenever these people are brought on board, all the same, they don't change the team. Mm. So, me as a person, I choose to be a strong link. I have known that being a strong link is the way to go. Thank you so much. Okay, powerful, powerful. Uh, th th thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for, for sharing that value back. I, I love people who share. Uh, Baruku, you can go right ahead. Good morning, leaders. Good morning to you. I'm very glad, uh, Coach. You are a very intelligent man. 
deserve to have gone to Oxford University in London. <laughs> but I guess you went to very nice schools. <laughs> yeah, uh, that link there, I have understood actually the concept um, is similar to the concept of the flat tire. Mm. They're driving a car and one of the tires uh, gets a puncture. Automatically, the vehicle will not move. Mm. That is uh, the concept of a negative attitude. Mm. So now, if the car has to move forward, Mm. We have either put more pressure and repair that tire or to remove it entirely. Mm. After removing it and maybe we have acquired a new tire, that's when the vehicle can, uh, can go ahead. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm also, as, as, I'm also choosing to become a strong link mm. uh, because I have known that uh, if I become a weak one, I will affect the entire uh, group and everyone will fail to achieve. Mm. And I understand that from the Old Testament times that a challenge of one member would affect the whole community. God would punish everyone. Mm. Generations and generations would suffer True. because of the sin of the ancestor. Mm. Mm. So members, all of us must be very strong links mm. so that all of us can achieve more. Thanks a lot, members. Wow, 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 wow. That's powerful, that's powerful, that's powerful. Yes, I appreciate that. Wow, so now uh, you, I hope uh, those who want to share, you have all shared and uh, you have got the value. Uh, we are starting the uh, again on Monday morning, the wake up and win. We will continue on Monday morning, but more importantly, uh, tomorrow we have a blast of an event happening at Speak Hotel Kampala. It's going to be heavy. Uh, calls are still going on, left, right, and center. We are really, really in for this. You understand? With the strong links in ILEV. <laughs> they know themselves. The strong links of ILEV. The weak links, they, you can also come as guests. No problem. They will be a seat as long as you have a ticket. Hmm? <laughs> we shall always accommodate you. Uh, but more importantly, I don't know. Yeah. If we have a, we have a program this Saturday in Dar es Salaam, I'm not aware of uh, of uh, of uh, of the dates, uh, but let's 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 all be active. Let's be all active. Be active in in our respective teams. Let's get a lot to pray. Leadership is by serve. Don't just wait to be served. You understand? Hmm? Let's uh, let's do raw pray. So, uh, champions in Uganda, we are meeting at exactly made this time. Let's keep time because we are. We are, organi- we, are, we are giving laws and departments for the event, which law is each person is going to press. So all the strong link, if you call yourself a strong link, uh, you come. If you don't come, it will be the evidence that you are one of the weak link where they were not yet recognized yet. Because you cannot miss, when you get you know, the team will want to count on you. Uh, by what? <laughs> by, by, by tomorrow, to, to, uh, to, uh, tomorrow event. But more importantly, uh, we, uh, we 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 have a dinner party that's happening in the doma. Uh, when MCC is when is it happening? Today at the doma hotel. Yes, they are already on their way to the doma. So there is a, we have also an event that's happening. It's a it's a dinner that's happening in the doma. So it's really very very important to know about those. So it's also in Tanzania, please. Uh, Connect everyone in the Doma to be part of that event. 7 p.m. at the Doma Hotel, that dinner is on. And also in Uganda, of course, we have our, our simple dinner for the, for the strong links. The strong links know themselves. We have a dinner today also. Like I already did last time, last month. Today we also have another dinner here in Uganda today. But the event is for tomorrow. So for the, for the, for the strong links, <laughs> not the weak links. So... MC Sufu, you can say hi to us uh, because you're on the way to go and, uh, uh, and support. No, uh, uh, MC Sufu is one of our strong link in the in the Salam. He's always there serving people above self. I celebrate you, brother, for being a strong link. Coach Baluk also want to say something. No, he, he just spoke Thank once. you so much. How are you? How are you, champion? <laughs> Okay. Are, are we okay? How good are you? morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. 
I'm doing um, I'm fine. We are doing fine. We are traveling to the Doma for our dinner party this evening. Mm -hmm. We want to support the market in that side. So mm -hmm. it's me, Champion Moses, and Champion Arthur. And we're going to put more fire on that side. Thank you so much. Wow. Welcome. Welcome. Wow. Wow. All, all the best. Thank and you. Moment. And wish you success in that event. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful. Baruch, you had, you had something else to say? Okay, I think you already shared. Oh, I'm, I'm through, I'm through, I'm through. You're done. Let me know why it's done. Okay, no, no problem. So now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's uh, let's catch up at the at the office those in those in, in in Uganda midday. But if you can come at eleven, or you can come at ten and start calling and remind people, because today is the final day to do all the reminders. You understand? And if you come early, if, if you don't have people to call, come early. I will give you people to call. We have a lot of list of people to call. If they come, they will put them in your respective teams. And this people they are they are they are no uh, network marketing. So come early, I'll give you the list. If you can come early at uh, those who come at nine or ten, I'll give you the list. So that by midday when you start the planning meeting, when you are all there, wish you all the best. Uh, as far as today is concerned, let's go lift someone else because that's the only way we lie is here in Ireland. Thank you, everybody. Thanks so much, Coach. Welcome. Thank you, champion. Thank you, Coach. Have a good day. We are putting one white for the dinner.